Well, we start with a story you will see only on 10. A teacher is charged with assault of a student. I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Anita Blanton. It happened at Crittenden Middle School in Newport News. The family is only talking to 10 on your side's Kayla Gaskins. Kayla? Yeah, Tom and Anita, I spoke with Christina Taylor, the student's mother, today, and she says this should have never happened to her son, but it did, and they're not taking the issue lightly. Last Friday, Christina Taylor and her husband got a concerning phone call from their son's principal. To say that my son was assaulted by a teacher. They picked him up early from Crittenden Middle. Evidence of the assault clearly visible on his arms. We were then instructed um, to go down to the magistrate's office and file um, formal charges. And they did. The Taylors obtained an emergency protective order against the teacher, Michael A. Rines. Here's what Taylor understands happened during the incident. Mr. Rind wanted her son to leave the classroom, and when he didn't, Rind put her son in a full Nelson, a restraint holding assault position. I think that he, he should have been arrested at, at, the, at the school. Should have been brought out in handcuffs. Rines was not arrested, but Newport News police were called. So was Child Protective Services. The school district says Rines has been suspended while the investigation is going on. Police charged him with misdemeanor assault, and he will go before a judge. We also reached out to the school district. They say Rines is currently suspended. He should not be able to work around children. Obviously, he, you know, has an anger issue or some sort. Um, and we're going to pursue this as far as it will go. The school district tells us Mr. Rind has been a teacher in the district since 2013. Coming up at 6, we'll share what the principal of Crittenden Middle School sent out to parents today regarding the incident. I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.